Hi, I'm Ethan, and I started Go There Do That. Today, we are at Bass Drop State Park, and it's a very beautiful time of year. But this time, we're gonna show you the inside of our van. We've had the van long enough, and we're at the point where we're comfortable. We've had enough modifications where we're gonna start showing you the inside, and uh, the dogs really enjoy it, and I think you might too. Heather will actually give you a tour of Come have a look inside. So we researched vans for about a year, over a year, um, but we knew we wanted the Solus pretty soon into it. Oh, one of those. One, one of those, those is ours. It's not windy. Yeah, check it out. Check it out, baby girl. Again, we. <laughs> oh, big yawn. Um, one weekend, we finally went to see one in person, and once we were actually inside the van and got a feel for it, we knew that this was the one. So this is the Solus. So our fridge is right by the door. I don't even have to get in the van to get stuff out. When I'm cooking out here or, um, you know, grabbing a beverage. So we have a hose we can hook up here. And I have used it before to rinse off like muddy shoes and stuff like that before. So right now we have the van in chill mode. So you can turn the seats around. We have a jump seat so you can take uh, four people with you. So this is our coffee cabinet. So easily accessible for you know, important morning activities. Most of your systems besides um, water stuff, although you can turn the water pump on and off here, um, are just right here above the jump seat, so pretty easy to get to. And here we are in the kitchen, pretty close to the chill area, but uh, think of it like an open concept. This is our propane stove. Um, it's really easy to start and ignite. You don't need a lighter, which is nice. This is a slide out cutting board, so you get a little extra space. This is the sink. This is nice, I like this because I buy these little pump bottles and then I don't have to take them out. You have an above cabinet. I am proud of this little paper towel holder mod. Um, we added this in, uh, but it makes it way more convenient and it fits perfect right there. Got a couple of outlets right here, USB and regular outlets, and some more down here. So that's super nice. So we haven't used this Eco Hot device yet, but the concept of it is it holds like hot water in your tank so you don't have to run the water forever. Got more storage right here. Um, we actually have a lot more room in there because I just rearranged some stuff. Also the um, water tank level is right here. So it's kind of cool because you can visually see it instead of having a thing that tells you one third, two thirds. This uh, leads to the bathroom. Um, I did add a little storage thing for like some towels and things like that. It's been kind of nice. It just hangs on the door. So you unlock it and you gotta give it a little oomph because there's a magnet at the bottom. Here you are. It might seem kind of small, but I've taken a shower in it and it was just fine. Um, I'm also short. Nothing too crazy, but it's nice to have. This is the garage area, which is really nice. So we do camp with two dogs and a cat. So we keep the litter box back here. I also added these hanging storage things. We have some really awesome options. Like we hang carabiners and then just like hook things up to them. Well, we have another cabinet back here. Um, I've added in some shelf things so you get a little bit more bang for your buck. Pretty great storage. Um, in addition to that, you have these nets down here. Um, they go, like this one goes really far deep. So, there goes my arm. This is probably like the most 
storage that you have in the whole van. But it's just like super, it uh, goes down further and then it goes across pretty far. To undo the Murphy bed, you just unlock it right there. And then it slides on down. And here's the bed. It's like kind of like a bunk bed, so the dogs stay down here under the bed. Not even close. Is it for much else besides keeping a couple of extra um, sheets for the pop top if we want to use it. And then we just keep our phones up here, sometimes water bottles, things like that. So the Solus also has, well, our version has the pop top. So I ha we haven't slept all night up there, but we've taken a nap up there and it's pretty comfortable. Okay. So it's pretty easy to pop up. I've done it by myself a couple of times. Uh, there's some buckles and stuff that you have to unlock. And there she goes. Um, there's a light up here. Um, obviously I'm gonna have to put the ladder together to get up here, but it's kind of cool like bunk beds. This is the pop top. It is a full-size mattress, and it is really cool up here because it reminds me of the good old days of tent camping. Um, like you can see outside, feel the breeze if you open this one. So it's really cool up here. So honestly, when we first got the van, I was really nervous to drive it because uh, it's a little bigger than my Explorer. But I've been using it as my daily driver to work every day and it's really easy to drive. I actually like it. Drive, it feels weird to drive my Explorer now because it's so low to the ground. Um, but yeah, like as far as driving goes, it's really easy to drive. It has a bunch of safety features that help with like, you know, the fact that it's kind of hard to see out the back. So the water tank is in the back of the van. Um, so you just follow the little knob directions depending on what you're trying to do with it. So some people might not like that it's inside the van and you don't have access to it outside the van, but we dry camp, like we don't plan to do any camping besides dry camping, so we don't really need to have like the hookup all the time. So it works for us. Also, there's another um, shower port out here. So this is the one that you use with the outdoor shower. And then uh, we have a big old shower curtain that you hang up here. Got some magnets to hold it in place. But this is the one that Ethan prefers to use because, yeah, a little more space. So that's our van, the Winnebago Solus 59PX.